Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by Ooh, inch. Baby. Uh, Phil meets the movies. Uh, I would do a fancy intro, but as you can tell, the fancy intros aren't working today. So let's see if I can get over to Phil meets the movies. That works. June 6th. Today. Today. 79th anniversary of D-Day, 1944. So the longest day. Uh, I have not seen The Longest Day in a while. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it. I, it was a long time ago. It was like I was watching like UHF channels when it was over the air broadcast kind of stuff. Uh, Wednesday, June 7th is Dean Martin's birthday. And uh, he was born in 1917. And the movie is Rio Bravo from 1959. It's considered it's to be... Technicolor. some of his. Yep, it is. It's considered to be some of his best acting jobs. Uh, he plays drunk. Oh. Yep. Wasn't that hard? Shocker. Uh, Thursday, June 8th, George Orwell, 1984. Published in 1949. So, today's movie pick, obviously, 1984 for June 8th, Thursday. This is my favorite. Friday! Yes. Friday! Friday, Michael J. Fox's birthday, and... Back to the Future. Perfect Friday night movie, by the way. I mean, that you is. could not get... And I would definitely go for the trio. And have you heard? Yes. Have you heard the news? Um, That they're going to redo it or reboot it? They're going to make a four? And they have Michael J. Fox in it. He plays a teacher. Really? He plays a teacher discussing how bad time travel is. I couldn't. I couldn't laugh any harder. I first, I thought it was. I, I really did. I thought it was fake. But then, the more I dug into it, I found out. No, no, no. They're legitimately in really? production for this film. And Christopher Lloyd's going to be in it too. I uh, I saw him in the preview, but okay. I will be honest. Uh, I felt like they did a Back to the Future two thing where they took the actor and they just spliced footage from him from other movies because gotcha. it kind of yeah. had that feel. I hope he's back because okay. he's he's what made the I film for me. Too. And yes, on June 10th, 100%. Judy Garland was born. And uh, most people would go with Wizard of Oz, but Wizard of Oz was used for another day. So the pick for today or uh, Saturday will be A Star is Born. 1954 version. Tell yeah. me, uh, this is actually a remake. So give me some more information about A Star is Born because you should know a little bit more. Do you? Do you? Do you kind of? You, you mean the one with Lady Gaga and, and Bradley Pooper? Bing, bing. Yeah. Bradley's got a poop. It's it's Cooper, just so you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, this is the second of two remakes because the original film was, uh, as, as it says, 1937. It is a really yeah. super depressing film. 1937 is a depressing film. 1954, equally depressing. And and the, the new one, 20 whatever. That's depressing. All three of the films are depressing I, I, to me. I haven't, you know what? I It's just the for me i haven't seen any of them well you're lucky and then i've seen this june, lots of times june 11th gene wilder's birthday 1933 without ever knowing <laughs> ba, do, ba, do. 1971 that film is just so damn classic I that's all i got to say movie. about them it's so good it's just so good so good so good I got you. Dun, dun, dun. Not all these copyright strikes are going to get. I know. Because I sound exactly like it. Let me see if I can get this one to come up on screen correctly. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's it. We know where we're going. Yeah, there you go. Woohoo! Now I just got to figure out. And that guy looks like he's in pain. Yes, he does. I I can even explain. Lane, I don't know what what that dude is doing. No, but it's not. It's not but a it's good bad. time. It's it, not it, a good time. Uh, yeah, not a good time. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's see if we can make this happen. Yeah, okay. a hot, hot mess. Our show's been standard hot mess again today, and it's funny too because <clears throat> I was like, ah, it's not gonna, it, it's not gonna be great, but uh, it'll go pretty well because all these buttons are working good. And then all yep. of a sudden, the button. Why would I not subscribe to my own show? Yeah, why would I? Why would I just subscribe <laughs> to this show? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're oh. gonna scream. 
Hey. I'm going to put this harmonica in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like so, the way he's This is about when I stopped it and went, we should just watch here. it. Yeah. Okay, so. Just don't spit it at me. <sighs> do we want to do the ears or the nose first? I, I, well, the last thing you're going to do is that one, okay? Because this one is going to be a lot of pain. Okay, because okay, your nail pulled some of my whisker yeah. hairs already. I know. Okay, so. Oh, I see what's happening. <sighs> okay. Okay, they're doing that waxing help? thing. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. oh, don't hit the stick. <laughs> don't hit the stick. It hurts. It hurts. Okay. Not hitting anything, dude. I don't care what you do. Okay, we're just going to try something. Here we go. Dude, he's shaking. He's shaking. Yeah. Hey, you got to hold the ear. I, I watched him on a video. You got to do the ear. Okay, don't just, don't just grab. <laughs> <laughs> Bass! Did you get it? No! no. What do you mean no? no. <laughs> you didn't yank it hard enough. It's really stuck. Oh my god, please try. <laughs> I'm laughing because that that Oh, my schadenfreude. Oh, my. He's sweating. He is sweating. Oh, my God. I'd be doing a lot more than sweating. <laughs> she didn't even give him a... <laughs> he can't even talk. He's choking to death. Oh, my God. Take both of them at one time. Both at one time. Oh, the things I do for fame. Okay. The things I do for fame. Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> what was that? Did he pee? Did he pee? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I think he peed. He shot it across the room. What? What? What just happened? What did What? What? Let's see what happens. What the, is that, oh, okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it's coming. This one first. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Here it comes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh my what was, God. What? 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 That so was bad. so good. Oh. So bad. What? What are we? What? What kind of show are we running here? <laughs> What kind of show we watch? This is why I don't watch you? them all before. I, I'm telling you, that was surprise. <laughs> yeah, that was one of those twists on the endings of the movies where you're like, he, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> and Night Shyamalan yeah. and Ding Dong got me. Right. Again. Yeah. Again. Oh I thought he got me last time. What you see now? <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. What, what did he do? A new short film just came out, oh, demonstrating yet oh, again how oh, the AI oh, is changing. Oh, what, what, oh, what did he do? Oh, 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 let me get this off the screen so I can get. What, 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 what did you oh, do? Oh, yeah. Okay, watch real quick because it comes up quick, and I'm gonna get it ready. Uh, there we go. Filmmaking. What you see? Oh, a new short film. What you see? Oh! What you see? Oh! Hmm. That's all I got to say about that. Ow. Yeah, I've told this story before, but a friend of mine used practice nunchucks and he created this really killer neck wrap. It was amazing. He did. It was great. It was awesome. He got a real pillar of nunchucks. First time he did the rap, he knocked his ass out. Like, out. <laughs> I believe it. There he was no like, joke. oh, look at this cool neck wrap. I can do this cool neck wrap with the nunchucks. We're like, yeah, that's awesome. Get, gets a real set. Watch. <laughs> On the ground. <laughs> like, out. Out. Ow, I'm still hurting. Oh, that, that definitely was yep. the nutcracker. Oh, 
Everybody in the studio audience. Yes, that ow. As as yeah. ow, ow. As as ow. Oh, this yes. next one. Um, did, do you think at any time possible, like dogs would be able to play in the NFL? Andy. Brandy Perina, <laughs> University of Miami, <laughs> go Canes. <laughs> oh! Brandy Perina, oh. University of Miami, <laughs> go Canes. That was a hit. That got middle oh. linebacker for Brandy. sure. Yep. Brandy for sure. Perina. University of Miami, go Canes. No doubt, man. Go I, Canes. Yeah, yeah, go Canes. <laughs> no doubt, man. I, that dog, no joke. Dog, no joke. <laughs> There's no flags on the play or anything. No, oh, that was a clean hit. Yeah, that, that was clean. That was clean. <laughs> yeah. That dog ain't getting a treat for a month, if ever again. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, why? The, oh, watch this. Okay. Oh, did you see his mouth? Oh. Let's get this teed up. Here we go. We're ready. Oh. 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 I'm just saying I'm clearing the bench. That's all I'm saying. Somebody's getting somebody's getting rocked. That's all I got to say. I mean, Getting hit with a pitch is bad enough. Getting yeah. pelted by a fastball yeah. in the face. Yeah, because I was like, at the slowest, it's like 88 miles per hour. At the fastest, it's like yeah. 90 something or 100. Loser speeds like in is... the 60s. Like loser speed. Like yeah. when they're like when they're like, <laughs> right? They they do that crazy yeah, like, like. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch with my left hand. Yeah. They do yeah. this one pitch, the screwball, and like it, that's the slowest pitch of all times, and it's like 30 to yeah. 60 miles an hour. But no, Even that that's still oh. fast. But I mean, there's no yeah. professional baseball players that's thrown under 80 something. Like I would say 87, right. 88 is probably what he just got face planted with. How <laughs> my face still yeah, hurts. I'd be like, uh, I, I, I'm done. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, there was, there was no hold up to this. That just, dude, you. <laughs> First of all, I'm just going to let it play. like a thunderstorm. Yeah, it did. And and you know what? I'll be honest. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to that guy. He's heavy set. Uh, there are either. weight limits for those. They yes. literally say there's a weight limit. And also, I can guarantee you that is an older one. If you've ever been on an older one, they, they get brittle in the sun. Like, they get this yes, like brittleness in the sun. Fiberglass. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, I would and, say this one's like four or five years old and definitely couldn't support his weight. And definitely, it looks like they didn't put water on it before. Because most of those, you have to put water on it, so you slide your butt down. Yeah. Yes. yes. If you don't have water on it, man, it just doesn't. It, 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 oh, man. Especially in the sun. Have you ever gone down a slide yes. in the sun without water? And, and it, it oh gets your God. skin? Yeah, and it makes that sound like. Yeah, and, and then rips like, no. the. <laughs> yeah, and then rips yes. the flesh off. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Why do we put ourselves through this? Oh, because other it's <laughs> other people. It's not us. It's not us. It literally is not us. Well, thus ends the ouch part of our show. You know, ouch. and then now we just we we after the metal mind bender, the rest of the show is just taken up by music. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's the God's honest truth. Oh, hey, that worked okay. I like that one. I do too. That one's pretty damn amazing, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> burr, 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 burr. My nuts are going everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. You know, um, just a word of caution. They should have this on, on the bag. No yeah. deep throating the nuts. Definitely don't deep throat the nuts. That's just not the. It's not the play. It's not the play at all. <laughs> payday and then in in like highlights don't deep throat the nuts exactly paydays are great <laughs> if you don't deep throat them <laughs> i gotta get the sound portion of this going so this new okay. setup's okay i'm not a huge fan of certain parts of the new setup but you know what could be worse um uh rob did warn me on this one by the way 
He he warned me already. Be in my wheelhouse. In your wheelhouse, one thousand percent. Oh, really? You're gonna do this to me today? You be uh Oh, I remember how I had to get around this. Okay, give me one second. There we go. So this button right here uh, doesn't Apparently take us to the right spot. Doesn't take us to the right spot. Okay, here we go. And you know what's funny is I listened to some of this and I didn't hear the the thing that he was saying at the beginning of it. Like I was waiting for it. Metal Mind Melter by Rob Wagner. The sophomore slump, everybody. The sophomore slump can apply to sports, academics, and of course, music. In a lot of cases, an artist creates an amazing debut album and the next release pales in comparison. The phenomenon seems to have validity except in the world of metal. Yes, of course, there are cases where the second album is a huge disappointment. An example for me would be Hawaii, One Nation Underground. Follow up, Loud, Wild, and Heavy was an EP of stale pop metal. Their official second release, The Natives Are Restless, was even more forgettable. A bit of background on Hawaii. They were one of the first Shrapnel Records signed bands. They featured Marty Friedman on lead guitar before he hit it. Before he hit it big with Megadeth, the singer Gary Saint Pierre went on to join Vicious Rumors. The sound was considered speed metal with vocals that could stop a banshee in its tracks. Uh, what's your technical name for it? Uh, constipated vocals? Is that is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, below the toilet, you know. Yeah, gotta go. Ah! Uh, below <laughs> is a list uh, illustrating sophomore efforts that equalized or surpassed their debut. I love this list, by the way. I was reading it. I was like, what? So good. Metallica, kill them all. Ride the lightning. Holy crap, is that a great one-two combo. Anthrax, fist full of metal and then spreading the disease. Again, great double combo. Slayer, show no mercy, hell awaits. Testament, The Legacy, New Order, Destruction, Infernal, Overkill, and Eternal Devastation, Overkill, Feel the Fire, Taking Over, Creator, Endless Pain, Pleasure to Kill, Exciter, Heavy Metal Maniac, and then Violence and Force, uh, Forbidden, Forbidden Evil, and Twisted into Form, Megadeth, Killing is My Business, He Sells, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, and Killers. I love the Killers album. Have you ever heard the Killers album, by the way? Iron Maiden, Killers? Nah, you haven't. It, it's amazing. It's before their current, it's before the singer that most people know. It's their original singer. Gotcha. And their original singer had to quit because he couldn't do it live. And then they got, uh, oh, I always forget I like his that. name. And he's amazing. Judas Priest, Rockarola, and Sad like Wings Judas of Destiny. Priest, though, even though oh, that's me too. metal for me. It is? Even though it's constipated metal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes! It's yeah. true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Paradox, uh, product of imagination and heresy, uh, mortal sin, mayhemic, uh, destruction, and face of despair. Rothschild, America, climbing the walls in 3D. This one cracked me up. Flotsam and Jetsam. What? I couldn't believe. Doomsday for the deceiver and no place for disgrace. I feel a scream coming on. Yeah, this reminds me of all 80s metal right here. All 80s and early yeah, 90s metal. This is like, uh... I don't know, something in the 80s metals, they just have that. They do, like, they have that certain sound. It's also the equipment too, like, ah! I think we could make yeah, that song they, today. They, they sound like they, they just like, smoked a carton of cigarettes and drank yeah. like a six pack of Mickey's. Or, yeah. or a whole bottle of whiskey. A whole bottle. Yes, not just two. Yep. A band's debut album often features tracks from their demos and songs they've perfected over many years while trying to get recognition in the clubs. So it isn't surprising these albums were so well received. Uh, with lots, with a lot of pressure to deliver, the bands above created sophomore efforts that did not disappoint. 
and were critical to the band's progression and evolution. So, a little bit more of Hawaii. Hawaii! Twin guitars, too, it sounds like. That was another big 80s thing, the Scorpions lineup, which is bass player, two guitarists, yeah. uh, drummer, and a lead singer that can can literally bring down the lights. Like, they'll just explode. So that has been Metal Mind Milter. Thank you so much, Rob. Um, Thank you, Rob. Do, 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 wow. TP show, everybody. Woo! Woo! Let me see if I can switch over to our other uh, setup. Cool. Do, 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 do. Cool. Do, 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 do.